really there's, there's so much to do all the time it makes you appreciate how much it takes to sustain yourself in this world so you get used to being able to buy the things to sustain yourself with money when you're put in a situation where you have to fend for yourself completely different. I'm learning a lot about how to grow food and climate and seeing a lot of different possibilities for living and it's a completely different experience. I do believe that we can put our ecosystems back together. We're all affected and the ones that are affected more are those without access to resources. Significant stuff. I would like to say that this is all reversible. We do have time, I believe. So the basic scales of influence from the human to the planetary is that climate is the very far extreme of our influences as a society and a civilization. We've come to that crux where the entire planetary process, the mechanisms for atmosphere and for everything else within in between is being compromised and that's the climate change crisis. We can either go down that road and move towards an extinction of natural resources starting and then towards an extinction of prosperity within a culture. I want to talk about basic functions of trees, do all the agroforestry stuff, all the technologies, all the assemblies, and try to really get a good grasp of how trees fit into the landscape. Right? This is composting in action. All the biomass, we just throw it around the tree and we start these mulch circles. And it decomposes and that's all their nutrient sink. It's a good introduction. It's very useful. I mean, the composting day was amazing, you know? You never forget things like that. It is warm, which means it's happening, and it, it will happen eventually. If you guys want to feel what a moderately warm pile is like, you can feel this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. In the middle. Going in deep. How hot is it? Can't I can feel your hat. <laughs> Try to get it all the way into the middle. Hopefully it will get hotter. Turning it actually speeds up the process. It initially is going to cool it down, but by adding the extra nitrogen material and by mixing up the ingredients, getting some more air in there. We may add some moisture as well. It's gonna facilitate the microorganism to reproduce more. Once we start employing just basic concepts of common sense and processes in nature as a model, then we can start to move into prosperity and furthering the civilization. So we can line ourselves up for an afternoon observation, kind of walk around. How would you propagate the banana? You just dig out one of these babies. Make sure you don't damage the mom or the baby and then you've got a new plant. The permaculture course is really beautiful in that half the day is spent in classroom and, and the other half is hands-on, which is, which is exactly what I think most people um, enjoy and also remember. Anytime we plant trees, that's a microclimate because they have this interaction with moisture and with nutrients and with wildlife and all the many things that trees are. Amazing. And you can create all that, so that's really cool stuff. The participants and students came with different backgrounds and they all left equally inspired. And each one of them was moved in their lives to make an action, to make something tangible happen for themselves. It could be smaller, it can be very big. You know, Jeff Lawton's a good mate of mine from the Permaculture Institute of Australia, and he talks about um, the ability to change all of the world's problems in a garden. Everything that the human needs can be provided in a garden. And then therefore all your pollution needs, all your pollution problems and sinks can also be filtered and managed in a garden. So it's kind of this very simple approach to looking at natural systems as the mechanism and connection between humans. All problems can be solved in a garden. America, America, God shed his light on thee. <laughs>